Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Christy. Today I have a recipe that I am dying to share with you guys and I am so excited to talk about this one. So excited. So if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and do so because I'd love to have you as a member of my YouTube family. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. I'll have my name right here for you. I do before and after pictures. I do stories every day. Lots going on over there. And I have a Facebook group, All Things Keto with Christy. You don't want to miss out on that. It's so supportive. Everyone's encouraging and there's no keto police. It'll be linked in the description box below for you. So let's go ahead and get started with today's keto friendly recipe. This is my faux loaded potato salad. So instead of potatoes, which are not keto friendly, in this recipe we're going to be using radishes. You can add so many things to this. I am going to be making a small recipe so you can go ahead and double this up if you're needing to take it to an event but it's absolutely delicious and you are going to be stunned how easy it really is. Today's video is going to be all about potato salad and this is a faux potato salad, loaded potato salad to be exact, and I'll be using radishes as my substitute. If you have not tried radishes for your potato substitute yet, you have to. These are amazing in soups, roasts, all things where you would use potatoes, definitely go with radishes. This recipe is a small recipe. You can double it if you want to, but since it's only me and the girls in the house, I'm going to make it a small one this time. I'll have everything listed below. So let's go over the ingredients. You're gonna need bacon. I'm just using these crumbled up bacon bits that I pick up at Sam's. Mayo, I'm using Duke's because it has no sugar added. It does have soybean oil, which is an inflammatory, so if you don't want that, you can use the Primal Kitchen or there's others on the market. Just check into those. Apple cider vinegar, some sour cream, salt, garlic powder, some shredded up cheese, and of course, my radishes. First things first. Before I even start peeling my radishes, I've already put a pot on the stove to go ahead and boil the water. 16 ounce bag of radishes. I'm just going to go ahead and cut those up, put them in my colander, and then I will rinse those off to make sure they're good and clean. As mentioned before, this is a small recipe. So if you want to double it, feel free to do so. If I was taking this to a picnic or somewhere that there were going to be several people, then I would definitely double it. But since it's just me and the girls, we're just going to go with a small serving. I'm just going to be quartering these so that they're in smaller pieces. Peeling your radishes is totally unnecessary. I just get thrown off by the pink color, but if that doesn't bother you, then so be it. And when I say pink, I'm talking about when you boil this and you mix it all together, your potato salad, faux potato salad will be a pink color, even the liquid inside it. So I'm just going to finish cutting these up. I did peel almost every one of them. I did leave a little bit on, but not too much. Quartered my radishes and peeled them and I've rinsed them off to make sure they're clean. Water is boiling and I've added pink salt to that. Now I'm just going to dump in my radishes. Let the radishes boil until tender. I'm gonna start at about 10 to 15 minutes. While my radishes are boiling, I'm gonna go ahead and shred up my Colby cheese. You can use mild cheddar, cheddar, whatever cheese you prefer. I'm just using Colby because it's what I have on hand. You're going to need one third cup of shredded cheese. I show this grater all the time. I did pick this one up at Dollar Tree. We absolutely love it because of how thin and fine it makes our cheese. I'm gonna go ahead and shred up this bowl full so that I'll have extra for the rest of the week, but we're only gonna need one third cup. The radishes only took 10 minutes to become tender. What I'm gonna do is take these over to my sink and strain them to get all the hot water off of them and then I'm gonna rinse them in cold water to stop the cooking process. I have left the radishes inside the strainer and I'm gonna let those continue to drain. I'm gonna go ahead and mix up the rest of my ingredients. 
I'm gonna need one eighth cup of sour cream. Next, I'm adding in one fourth cup of Duke's mayo. Next is one fourth teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. I'm gonna add some pink salt. This one is a personal preference, so add as little or as much as you want. An optional ingredient that I'm adding is garlic powder. I'm going to just add a dash of that, but again, personal preference, so whatever you want. Now I'm gonna start out by just blending these together. My radishes have had time to strain. I'm gonna add them to my mayo mixture now. I'm gonna gently stir this up to make sure everything gets coated. Next, I'm gonna be adding in my bacon crumbles, the ones I pick up at Sam's. If you just have bacon, crumble up about three or four pieces inside this. This is one fourth cup. And then I'm gonna fold that in. Next, I'm gonna be adding in my cheese. This is one third cup, but you can use less if you want. I'm just going to sprinkle some of that in, then I'm gonna fold it. And then add some more. Just gonna continue to stir this. There are so many options that you can add into this if you want chives, some dill. I'm not a huge black pepper fan, but I am gonna add a little bit of black pepper to this because I like it with my potato salad. If you want, you could add a boiled egg, just chop it up. So many things that you can do with this. I just want to make sure you know that radishes are an option for all your potato substitutes. The potato salad will need to be refrigerated in an airtight container. And here is what the finished product looks like. I do store this in the refrigerator. This makes five servings and each serving is one third a cup each. Make sure you check the description box below and I'll have all the ingredients and measurements. This does make a small serving because like I said, it's just me and the girls and we would never eat that much potato salad but if you want to double up go ahead and do so if you make this recipe let me know in the comments below what you think make sure you tell me also what you're going to add into this would you add in egg would you add in some dill maybe some pickles let me know in the comments below because i'm always up for trying new things in my potato salad I'm so excited to have this recipe for this summer. It's going to go great with hamburgers and hot dogs. Any cookout, this would be perfect if you're doing barbecue. I also have a coleslaw recipe that you may be interested in, but this tastes wonderful and it will go with so many different dishes. Make sure you check the information and description box below. All ingredients will be posted down there. Again, this is for just five servings, so if you would like to double the recipe, feel free to go ahead and do so. Definitely perfect for any event that you may be going to this spring or summer. If you try this one, let me know what you think. Go ahead and comment below. I have a whole playlist of keto-friendly recipes that you might want to check out. Tons going on from main dishes to side dishes and desserts, even fat bombs. So make sure you go check those out. I'll see you in my next video and I hope everyone has a wonderful day. Bye. All the foods that you are seeing here will be linked at a playlist at the very end of this video. I'll also add that into the description box below. Everything you're seeing is keto friendly and I do have several more recipes other than just these. If you'd like to check out my easy keto meal prep videos, which are uploaded on Sundays, I add additional recipes into those videos. Just check out the thumbnail and see if it would be something you're interested in. And I will see you in the next video.